I spent the first 20 years of my career hating that fucker. 25 years ago, back in the early 90s, when I was pursuing my career in bodybuilding, Michael Hearn was already in the magazines. He was doing what I wanted to do, and he was doing it a hell of a lot better than I was. So, of course, I hated him for that. Now I laugh at the trolls who get all butthurt about Mike O'Hearn, but I was that troll 25 years ago. I just didn't have a keyboard and my parents didn't have a basement. Dozens and dozens of times over the decades, I visited Gold's Venice. And most of those times, I would see Mike O'Hearn in their training. Typically in the squat rack, with at least four or 500 pounds in the bar. By himself, no spotter, no posse, no camera crew, just grinding out heavy set after heavy set, writing down each lift in his book, sitting quietly between sets focused on the bar. This was the same scenario every time I saw Mike in the gym. Day after day, week after week, month after month, year after year, decade after decade. Discipline, consistency, and hard ass work. My goal was never to have to put on a suit and tie. Never have to work for somebody else. Never to have to put on a suit and go and, and, and sit there for hours. And I've lived my whole life just because of what I've done and my achievements and, and made a successful career out of it to where now, now I just get to enjoy it even more. And it's more passionate. Where some people go, well, I've trained for a couple years, but I lost the motivation. For me, it's. I've got more motivation now than when I was 20, and I was hungry as hell when I was 20. Find something else that means more to you than a trophy or getting in shape. And you, no matter what happens in a show or anything else, you're gonna explode in life. Get up, do it, um, stay on point, and before you know it, man, you're doing these habits and you're creating a beautiful life for yourself.